Catalysts, yay bismuth. This video is about moving catalyst atoms around using bismuth diamagnetic physical movement capacity to make a structure able to dynamically change the monoatomic reaction surface of the catalyst to make it 11 or more times more effective from the outside of the reaction container. We're using magnetism to wiggle bismuth atoms that are right near catalyst atoms to change the surface of the catalyst to make it more effective. I've seen diamagnetic things levitate with magnetic effect. Bismuth is the most diamagnetic element. Here we borrow the imagery of the awesome and informative periodic videos video on bismuth. Visit the original. Click the link. At Chemical and Engineering News, April 7, 2008, there is a graph that describes the way reactions like heptane to toluene are seven or more times more effective with staggered geometry compared to square geometry. The way atoms are arranged on the surface affects rate. I'm sure we all like the idea of gas refineries that are seven times more efficient. Further, a stepped atom surface is 11 or more times as reactive, converting isobutane to n-butane as a square atom surface. This is the time on unnamed Eastern Occupational Government sprockets when we view the diagrams as annotations, as State has not authorized this video. Look at those annotations. Wow. Look at those annotations. Then activate magnetism to change monoatomic surface geometry. Look at that go. The idea is using a layer of diamagnetic molecules under a certain number of monoatomic layers of catalyst atom. The surface of the catalyst can be strobed with effective magnetism to cause bulging, which causes the 11 times more effective stepping geometry to occur. It might actually look like a Fresnel lens, Fresnel to those who know how to speak French, unlike me, as it bulges with response to electromagnetism. Yo, visualize a diffraction grating now just an array of lines. Frequency specific, is it not? There, the annotations. We see what appears to be areas of monatomic metal catalyst adjacent to uh, a diamagnetic bismuth layer, and they appear to be spaced in such a way that they would be likely to absorb uh, radiation as a certain frequency, rather like diffraction grating. Thus, more wonderful is the idea of placing an array of lines of the catalyst at rolled intervals. Then the diamagnetic catalyst layering is associated with a particular light or EM radiation frequency. Rather like a diffraction grating, the depthy linear catalyst structures respond when the right frequency of radiation reaches them. They could either bulge or flatten as a response to absorbed radiation changing the diamagnetism molecule layer. Being able to dynamically change the reaction surface of the catalyst to make it 11 or more times more effective from the outside of the reaction container gives a way to literally beam hyper-efficiency to different areas of a fluidized bed chemical reactor with regard to available reagents plus the way the stuff is variably spread around. This also gives a way to regenerate catalysts with electromagnetic radiation while they're at the container. When refineries make things, they use catalysts. 